Hi, peace lovers and truth seekers. It's Rich McLean, formerly celebrated, now lived fallen, I've just realised. Um, international um, awarded human rights advocate and public speaker. And um, I've always worked for 25 years for um, helping marginalised people. Um, I just want to say currently, I'm homeless. I'm, um, I'm bereft of prosperity. And that was intelligently designed. I've worked an uphill battle my whole life. I wish to say, quite bluntly, I cannot go to police. I'm a failed whistleblower at IBAC, APRA, ASIC and the Commonwealth Ombudsman. I've lost millions and millions of dollars in detriment. And this has been a process in which I was set up to fail from the start. As a person with a disability, the Charter of Human Rights of um, people with a disability ratified by the government in 2008 should say that I should have a lawyer. That's pretty basic stuff. I've never had a lawyer and I'm actually banned from the legal service. Oh, someone's calling me. I'll give them a call back. Hang on. Hang on a moment. So, um, yeah, I'm, I can't go to any lawyer either. So the Attorney General already knows I've lost one to two million at AFCA and one million at, at Home Australian Human Rights Centre and that I lost a malpractice case and was framed by a very powerful lawyer and my former partner who was an ASIO agent who owes me $500,000. It's never been about money for me. But I must say, if no one intervenes, I'm in a desperate situation of... Um, not having enough food or medication or um, care and even the NDIS minister of which I'm a provider and a participant um, but suffered an injury from my work um, has denied helping me pay for rent so laws 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 now there's there's a law that says um, my landlord can apply to VCAT um, and um, get me kicked out the police will come but at the same time, I can't report rape, murder, tax fraud, drug trafficking, human coercion, sexually and financially, theft of car, theft of phone, conspiracy to prove the cause of justice, or um, indeed my own conspiracy to manslaughter, which would have been murder had I not have been found because it was considered a fatal injury, and that the government then covered it up. And further to that, my work cover case, 16 months on, I've lived in poverty and I'm still waiting um, for the outcome of a particular bit that I don't even understand in the legislation. And the government now has a 25 year experienced lawyer in order to beat me. And they're defending Comcare's decision, Paul Fowler. Now, Paul Fowler um, rejected it. He hasn't even got the diagnosis right. That's ridiculous. And, um, he um, is the old head at WorkSafe. Now, WorkSafe was the first place I went and they refused to help me. Paul Fowler was the old boss at WorkSafe. And I pointed all this out to Michaelia Cash, the Attorney General, and she um, kind of said, uh, well, you better call the Sane Helpline, despite me saying, um, my book's been Sane's Book of the Year, and I've already spoken to Jack Heath, please don't send me to a helpline. I need an intervention and justice. I'm a kind person. I've d devoted my whole life to helping people. And now I need um, the intervention of a government agency, such as the Attorney General, to um, intervene. And um, she lashed me by replying via proxy with no name via anonymous letter saying I should call the same helpline. Now, this is a vexed thing. I'm absolutely fucked. Um, because I asked the Prime Minister of uh, Office of Prime Minister and Cabinet um, for my freedom of information to try and unpick this entirely ungodly victimisation of me that has led me to my death and has led me further um, to having a memory issue and, um, and then a mental illness and being denied by the NDIS Minister, being um, categorically scapegoated over decades and at the same time, being a well-known human rights awarded 
advocate who I was exploited for my vulnerability. And then um, the Office of Prime Minister and Cabinet, the big head honcho, says that, um, oh, your case is way too complex and voluminous. Voluminous. Sounds like a perch breast, doesn't it? <laughs> and, um, and so I waited longer and the Office of if information commissioner got back and then the prime minister reckons I don't exist. Well, fancy that. See that? That's a cancer. No one's seen to that. Four or five months old. See this? It's a brain injury. That's pretty shit. See this? It's a disability, yes. But it's an amazing fucking sentient being as well. I'm um, so many other things. But what I actually am is... Homeless, I have no voice in the law, can't go to police, can't be a whistleblower, can't get a lawyer, and I'm utterly, catastrophically framed by the Australian government and powerful key stakeholders. In addition, this conspiracy to pervert the course of justice, which I've already proven, has um, uh, basically killed me, and then um, uh, the government covered it up. So now the Prime Minister is saying I don't exist, when in fact my voluminous breast um, presence in the Office of Prime Minister and Cabinet's um, thing would be pretty obvious, don't you reckon? It'd be pretty weird that they don't have anything on me. Anyway, this is Rich. I'm going to put my uh, number here in case you'd like to donate so I can eat food. This is Crystal the Dog. Crystal, can you say I love you? I love you! I love you! <laughs> This is our squat, and we're going to get moved on by police soon, but we can't report anything to police. In actual fact, the police have rejected our FOI, and they covered up a violent assault, of which I saved a dude, but they pinned it on me. But anyway, that was just one of the many ways I've been um, forsaken. <laughs> and I'm the laughing Jesus Buddha, and it's Rich McLean, Dr. Rich McLean, Dr. Dick for all the young cubs I shag in my squat. And um, we hope to help. We helped, hope, hope to turn a really shit situation, which is the heinous fucking desecration and victimization of one individual by the entire fucking government <laughs> into something really fucking good for Indigenous people, for trans kids, for the parents of trans kids, for the sexual abuse survivors, sexual assault survivors, and for... Um, People who are voiceless and marginalised and um, people who um, don't have a voice um, and people whose voices are silenced. And in addition to that, we don't hold judgment just for people who are vulnerable. We hold judgment for the people who would like to atone for doing things. And this um, turning this around into something really good with the with the detriment of money, which the finance minister Birmingham has already rejected and so did the Prime Minister. Um, when it goes to the High Court, if I live, because <laughs> I've got no food or medication, um, uh, we're going to turn this into something amazing. And we're going to help um, prisoners and we're going to help um, with um, uh, um, people who can, um, who still have something to give the world. Everyone's got something to give the world. And um, uh, th there should be no judgment, you know. And I think that atonement and forgiveness, and I forgive myself if I've hurt anyone unconsciously or consciously via my um, confusions. And um, I apologise to them. And, um, and I forgive everyone. But if I'm not ready to forgive, then um, I reserve um, forgive myself for even that. So this is Rich McLean, Dr. Rich McLean, Dr. Dick, the Laughing Buddha, <laughs> in my um, squat, heinously oppressed and victimised, killed, covered up, and left to die. But we're not suicidal. We're just rocking on, waiting for the, <laughs> waiting for the fuzz to come, man. Anyway, we love all our oppressors. See you soon. I hope you can help me. And if you don't help me, and you believe the liberal and slander, add to it. I fucked a quail underneath the Lilydale clocks on the um, uh, Melbourne line and um, killed it and um, missed my train because I was actually supposed to go to Noble Park. <laughs>
Gee, I'm hungry. Can anyone help? If you can help, that'd be good. Thank you very much. Uh, I think we may have to go to the um, uh, the Federal Circuit Court of Australia. I've got to work out who that portfolio is under. I think it's the Attorney General's. Am I fucked? 